Thanks, Luke, and thanks for organising this um, concert series. It's been really nice to come together and listen. Um, while we're here, I do want to say to acknowledge where we are and we're standing on unceded Gadigal land and listening together to some performance, which is a nice thing to do. Uh, we're at the um, Circular Quay, which is the start of this colonisation malarkey, and we're in the Sailor's Home, which is uh, an interesting building built to help some of the people, which allegedly was Sydney's first theatre. Maybe we're on the site of Sydney's first theatre, which is a nice thing to think about. I'm talking because people don't often talk, and I think it's nice to hear someone talk about what they're doing um, and to maybe help us reflect on the sounds that we're listening to together um, and to talk about my project, what am I doing? Um, and also that to acknowledge that uh, I'm not an artist, I'm not, this is not a work I'm making, this is just a, a hobby, it's just a process and um, thank you for listening to, to it and paying some attention to it. Um, I'm using voice as a source material. I work as a sound engineer in radio. I work with voice, helping meaning, helping clarity. And so at night, I like to flip that on its head and just f like to feel voices and get inside voices. Voice is the instrument that we all have. It's the way that we come together. It's the connection between us as, uh, as society and people. And um, so it's a nice source material to work with. Um, I've tried to find a good piece of audio, piece of talking, and I listened to a lot of different things, and I kept getting caught up in the meaning, and I didn't want meaning. And then I found a wonderful thing that I want you to know about, uh, which is a much greater work than any of this, which is um, Buttress O'Neill's uh, cut-up audio books. And she's a sound artist based in Melbourne, and she's, audio books are there, that's this beautiful material, and she puts it into a transcription software and then she has all the words and then she cuts that up and makes silly, sort of ludicrous statements out of these things. And so we can just hear a small example because it's good to know what we're hearing the destruction of. Well, but I was also young, keen and freshly painted with a gleaming silver knocker. A peculiar odour. And... Six eyes. The beard, a gift from my human father. I was wearing my favourite shirt. A plain grey t-shirt. Pink nails and thick black eyeliner. I was wearing a leather jacket with deep pockets. Low black boots. I didn't relate well to people my age. The sloshing of my new waterproof boots was unnerving. My voice sounds odd, like I'm talking from the next room. Maybe there was a glitch in my brain. I recognised the top of my head. But I couldn't find my lips. And then I knew I was dead. Well and truly dead. It suits me. So... <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, it's, um, it's, this is nothing new. Um, cut up is, is a standard procedure and it's fun and there's jokes and... Um, but it's just nice material, it's very clear, it's not media, it's just a voice, it's a person, and I really admire the work. Um, and so that then becomes perfect source material to um, cut up and muck up. And so, um, as I say, this is not a finished thing, it's just a bit of uh, sound for us to listen to together. And um, so I'm now going to give a demonstration of that, and this is just sort of what I do to not listen to meaning in voice. I want to share with you the not meaning. Um, and it, it finally, a it little bit goes back to nice experiences I'd have falling asleep as a child. And I would hear this fluttering, fluctuating voices and my own voice. And so my family's a bit spectrum and we like recognising patterns and stuff. And so maybe it's got something to do with that, or maybe not. All, all of us, like humans, are pattern recognisers by uh, nature. And so um, let's just enjoy the um, patterns of non-logic together. I feel 
female. A female. I was also a female. So young. So young. But I was. But I was young. I was also young. Female. But I was also young. Male.
John Jacobs, everybody. 